Sandstorm right now. For realsies, and I'll prove it to you too. As you stay in your seats, look up to your left hand side. You're gonna see some sprinklers shooting straight up into the air. And once that water comes down, it looks just like real rain. It's the same way we do it in the big screen. So this is how the magic happens. Now sometimes if we have a little bit too much rainwater coming down, you know, the land is so dry and things get and I think it's about to happen. Everybody, look out, we got a flash flood. Oh. All right, yeah, I knew that was going to happen, too. Wow. But you didn't, and you're not the first ones to be surprised by that flash flood. It snuck up on Paul Giamatti in Big Fat Liar. <laughs> oh, it's wet. You can't have Kid? Yeah, we'll see about that. Why the hell are you trying to get a funny potion? Hold that back. Hi there. How can I help you? What is the bad place like? Well, it doesn't sound awesome. But what is awesome is The Good Place, guys. I told you before, it's like my favorite show, and now we're getting to drive through all of their sets. That's amazing. I'm freaking out up here. This place is so, so cool. And perhaps my favorite thing about The Good Place sets are the puns on all the stores. We have The Good Plates is probably the best one we got. Producer and writer Megan Amram is responsible for most of the puns you can see on all of these stores here. She is a real great one. Now, as we come along up here, take a look to your right-hand side. It's still looking like The Good Place, but this little courtyard over here, more famously known as the Court of Miracles. We'll touch on why that's important in a few short moments, but here to the left we can see the train station for The Good Place, and we are now approaching another completely separate TV show that films here in Little Europe all the time. That is Home and Family. There's no place like Home and Family. And you can see they're set now to your left-hand side. Universal Studio fans, I'm Mark Steinis. And I'm Debbie Matinopoulos. Come with us as we go behind the scenes with your Skulls. favorite actors, musical performers, and celebrity chefs. Plus, amazing DIYs, fun fashions, and so much more. But fear not, although we are vacationing at Amberley today, I have been told by the police department that, well, there's no shark here anymore. They caught him, so we're not going to be in danger. And hey, look at that. To your right-hand side, the shark is hanging up on the docks, which means we are totally safe. We can kick back and relax and enjoy a nice time here in Amity. I might have to eat my words on this one. Everybody, look to the right. You see that giant dorsal fin that's popping out of the water? Come here. I think that means they caught the wrong shark, and he's going straight after that diver. Hey, buddy, get on the boat. You're about to be shark food. Get on the... I was too late. Oh, look away, kids. Look away. No, no, you can look. It's fine. <laughs> well, that was unnecessarily gory. But very sad. But it's going to be fine. Everybody stay in your seats as we come across the dock. And look at the right. You see that yellow barrel? There is some shark bait ooh -ha -ha, attached to the end of it. So as long as the shark takes the shark bait, ooh -ha -ha, then everything's going exactly according to plan. It looks like the shark just took the bait right now. I don't think fire was part of the plan. Hey, has anybody seen the shark? I'm going to do a quick little celebrity impression for you guys. See if you can tell who this impression is of. You ready? Here we go. Any ideas? It's you. Yeah, <laughs> the shark popped up and got, oh, you guys were so scared. <laughs> no need to be scared of Bruce the shark. Weird. Hold on a sec. Security at Studio Tour, do you copy? This is security. What's going on, Studio Tour? Hey there. Uh, we just passed by Wisteria Lane, and there is a car parked out in front. I have not seen it there before. It's a Charger, I think, black, maybe 1970. Okay, Tour. I'll send someone down to check it out ASAP. Thank you, Chief. Sorry, gang. You know what? Safety is very critical here, and it's so critical that they're calling us back already. That was fast. What up, Chief? Studio Tour. Looks like we might have an issue. I'm patching you into Agent Novak from the FBI. I'm sorry to interrupt your fun, but we've got video surveillance on that charger you all saw. We ran it through the system, and the driver has been positively identified as Dominic Toretto. Nailed it. I've been tracking this guy for a while. He's a hardened criminal. 
He's likely armed, and he is definitely dangerous. My men and I are on our way to apprehend him right now. If you see him, don't be a hero. Don't engage him. And do let me know if you see anything weird out there, guys. Unless you just see some tiny and happy little people. Don't mind them. They're the Who's. And this is where they live. To your right-hand side, you're seeing a Whoville. These are sets from Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, directed by Rod Howard, and starring Jim Carrey as the big, mean, and green Mr. Grinch. Grinch? You're a bad banana with a greasy black isn't the only bad banana those Who's have to put up with because out on the back lot they are it's from Alfred Hitchcock's classic Psycho. Look to your right hand side and this here is the Bates Motel which was used in Psycho 2. Psycho is a very important film we all know and love it. Changed the scope of cinema forever and of course there's that shower scene with the knife and the ring 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 sounds a little bit like this. So. That's a little bit better. But what you might not know about Psycho is that it's the first film to ever feature a flushing toilet. That's the truth. Uh, there might be a toilet up ahead of this building on our left-hand side. That is the Psycho House, the original from the film. And then, oh no, Norman Bates is home today. Let's get away as fast as we can from the man with the knife and go instead towards the neighborhood that has been destroyed by aliens. That seems a lot safer. Everybody, this is the airplane crash site set from director Steven Spielberg's 2005 film, War of the Worlds, starring Tom Cruise and Dakota Fanning. The airplane crash site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around the vision of Stephen. You can sit together and sit down and talk about the world. Well, what if the 747 goes down right in a big neighborhood? Because it's, it's just something you don't hey, see. You're doing good. You're doing good. All right, now that Robbie's in, I think it's safe for all of us to get on out of here. Why does this set from War of the Worlds look so darn realistic? Well, the short answer is because a lot of it's real. That is a Boeing 747 aircraft that used to fly people in the sky. It was purchased and destroyed just for the making of that scene in War of the Worlds. What does it cost to buy an airplane for a movie shoot? Not as much as you might think. It only cost the producers about $60,000. A real kicker, though, was it cost them $200,000 to get the plane here they always get you on the shipping and handling every single time. Oh, well, I would love to tell you guys more about what's going on here, but I can't because I'm getting another call from security. This seems to be very important. What's happening, dude? Look, this might be more serious than I thought. What just happened? This is a secure line. Who are you? I'll tell you who I am, boy. I'm the reason bad guys use a nightlight. I'm the reason the boogeyman begs his mama to look under his bed. And I'm the reason you just lost control of this whole operation. My name is Special Agent Luke Hobbs of the U.S. Diplomatic Security Service. And as of 16.9 seconds ago, I'm the man in charge. The hell you are. Let me clue you in on two things, sweet cheeks. One, there's a high-value witness from the Federal Protection Program aboard your vehicle. And two... An international crime syndicate led by Owen Shaw is honing in on this vehicle to take that witness out. Shaw's as ruthless as they come, and he'll stop at nothing to eliminate his target. Every living soul on this vehicle is in serious danger. Other than that, enjoy the ride. This is not your jurisdiction. It is now, stink pickle. I am so tired of you stink guys stepping in. Just whenever you, you feel like... Mute him. Don't you mute... That's better. Uh -huh. We're moving your vehicle to a safe location until we have the situation under control. Until then, I want everybody to stay calm. Enjoy the ride. We're taking care of business. Hops. Well, this is kind of a weird little detour we're going on, but hey, it's going to be just fine. We'll show this building for a few minutes, then get back on with the tour. As we're in here, just a reminder, please stay seated at all times. And hey, remember those 3D glasses? I got a feeling you're going to need them soon, so don't put them on yet, but remember where you place them. In the meantime, let's say hi to our hosts. My name is Roman Pierce. 
Pleased to meet you.